Today we're going to review the Cinematic Studio Light Kit. When you get good at photography, people always ask what kind of camera you have. A good camera is important, but it's only part of the process. Photography is actually writing or drawing with light. Your camera helps you control and capture light, and sometimes you have to set the light up the way you want it. A set of vintage studio lights is part of my living room decor, but I'm getting more serious about my video projects and I didn't want my clients to think I got my gear at a garage sale. I wanted to get a modern and versatile set of studio lights, so I did some research on the internet and I decided on the cinematics kit. I saw the truck pull up and he handed me this box. Inside the box was this bag. The bag zips open on this side, which I thought was pretty cool, and inside you see all the gear. Let's unpack it and see what's inside. There are 31 items in the kit. To keep the photo simple, I've just put one of each type of item on the table. Starting in the upper right of the photo is the counterweight bag, then there's the boom itself, then there's the clamp that holds the counterweight to the boom, then there's the bracket that sits on top of the light stand that holds the boom. To the left of that is the socket adapter that allows you to screw into one socket and put four bulbs into each unit. In the middle of the photo are the stands. There are three full-size stands that hold the lights up. Right below the stand in the photo, you'll see that there are three softbox units. That's the light unit itself. And to the left of that, you'll see the lamps. There's 12 of those because there's four in each unit. Each softbox is stored in its own pouch. You see them at the bottom of the photo, and each of those pouches has a little pocket on the side that has a diffuser. There are spring shock absorbers in both sections of the stands. They extend from 38 inches all the way up to 8.5 feet. The soft box is attached to the top of each stand with a nice thumb screw, and you can adjust the tilt with a ratcheting clamp. If you hold the little collar really straight, you can snap it over the socket to hold the soft box open. The kit gives you four lights for each softbox, but in some applications you might just want to use one. The splitter allows you to put four bulbs into that single socket. Here's the splitter in place with just two lamps installed. And of course here's four bulbs for maximum power. With four bulbs and the reflective lining it really kicks out a lot of light. Now we'll build the boom itself by placing the bracket on top of one of the stands. This is the only part of the kit that gave me trouble. There was a little piece of plastic astray from the molding process that was in the way, but I cut that off with a knife and then everything was fine. The bracket has four different sized openings. We use the largest one for our telescoping boom rod. Now we put the counterweight hanger in place. The counterweight pouch hangs from the bracket, and to give it some weight, I used a couple of two pound bags of rice. Here's a look at the boom fully assembled, with different counterweights, different positioning, and different lengths of the telescoping shaft, you've got a lot of flexibility with how you set up this boom. But instead of continuing to look at the lights, why don't we look at what the lights can do for your work? I've set the lights up according to the diagram that you see on your screen, and for the subject, I've got a sculpture that my mom did of me when I was a little kid. This is just the room lights, and now the main light, or the key light, we turn that on, we see that the daylight is a much better color for this, but you see there's fairly dark shadows uh, on the left. This is called the fill light, and it uh, takes away those shadows completely. And then we put in the hair light, and that lights up the hair and separates them from the background a little bit more. I like using one of my sets for a fill light with just one bulb, so that gives me some other bulbs to work with. I got an inexpensive clamp lamp from the hardware store and use it for a background light. Now I'm going to turn on the key light. This is all four bulbs. And then the fill light with only one bulb. And then I'm going to turn on the hair light with one bulb. You know, before I go on talking about lighting, I'm guessing that most of you don't know what it feels like to have your statue displayed in a major art museum. Well, to be honest, neither do I. When you study chroma key technique, better known as green screen, the first thing they tell you is to make sure that your screen is evenly illuminated. One of my favorite things about the cinematics kit is it has three identical soft boxes, 
so you've got the versatility to do what you want. Some of the other kits I was considering had two soft boxes and then a smaller soft box that they used on the boom. That would be great if all you ever did was use it as a hair light, but with the cinematics kit, you've got the flexibility. Like in this scene, I've got two bulbs in each of the lights shining on the backdrop and four bulbs shining as my main light, and it works beautifully. Sometimes I might not need a hair light. Then I'll use the boom to hold a microphone in the perfect position for recording a speaker. When I order something over the internet, I'm a little nervous until I actually get my hands on it. But I'm very pleased with the Cinematics Light Kit, and I think you will be too.